Hey, it's Sean, back with uh, video tutorial number three for video basics. Uh, stuff that I hope that you can use in real world situations. Quick story, one time we were shooting at a place, we uh, plugged in a couple of lights. We had looked at the, uh, the fuse box that was nearby to make sure that we were on our, okay on the circuit that we were on. Plugged in, flicked things on, and then I, there was a knock at the door about two minutes later, and the guy from the office next door, a completely different company, just a different office, was like, what the hell did you guys do? Because my computer just turned off. And what we didn't know is, is that at one point, someone had knocked out a wall in that office to expand the office we were in, and the circuit was the same because it used to be part of that other office. So you've got to be very careful when it comes to electricity and lighting. Now, how do you know if uh, you're going to exceed a circuit limit and turn off a breaker? Well. Let's go back to the basis for a second. The reason that breakers trip and turn things off is because a circuit can only handle so much. It can only give you so much juice. If you try and draw too much, you are, you know, there is a chance that you could start a fire, which is why circuits break, all right? They turn off before they have a chance to overheat, melt, and possibly start a fire. Your average household circuit has 20 amps worth of juice to give you. And if there's any, any electricians out there freaking out, he's not using the right language, I'm just giving the basics for what video guys need to know when they're plugging in lights. And what you need to know is this, the average circuit uh, will give you 20 amps worth of juice. Now, how do you know if you're going to exceed that 20 amps with your lighting gear? What you need to do is go to the fuse box and take a look at where that circuit is. And if you're in, say, a room where it's all on one circuit, you know that, that room's only going to give you 20 amps and you can't run an extension cord to another circuit or something. That changes how you're going to light things. The way to figure out if you're going to exceed that 20 amp limit with your gear is to use paper amps. All right, Paper amps is a way of mentally cheating. It's a way of rounding up. Because a 1000 watt light actually draws something like it draws 8.3 amps. So 20 minus 8.3 and that's what you've got left is 12 and a bit. All right, excuse me, 11 and a bit. The way to cheat, so you don't have to do math, I think it's, uh, I think I even wrote it down. It's watts divided by volts is what will give you your amps. You don't need to go through all that. Just do what they call paper amps. Just cheat. And that is move the decimal places, de the decimal two places. So if you have a 1000 watt light, move it over two places and you know that it draws 10 amps. If you have a 350 watt light, move the decimal place over, it draws three and a half amps. And as you're doing that, you should be taking that away from 20. So if you have 10 amps being drawn by your 1K, your 1000 watt light, and three and a half amps being drawn by your 350 watt light, you now know that you only have a few amps left to play with before you hit 20. You're at 13 and a half already, all right? Six and a half more is all you've got left, and then you're gonna break that circuit, all right? So, bear that in mind when you're going on shoots. Always do your homework. It's embarrassing if you blow a fuse. It's especially embarrassing if you blow a fuse on somebody who's not even involved with the shoot. All right, they're going to be quite upset and it is embarrassing and even when you're looking at the fuse box it may not be correct bear that in mind uh, if you're doing like a high budget shoot where you have an electrician who's going to you know take care of that stuff for you on set great if not for the majority of you that are shooting in you know a residential or just a small office or something like that remember the number 20 and remember to move the decimal place two places over for everything you use and by the way household appliances draw a lot of juice all right so whenever you're on the set and you plug in the coffee maker, which is almost always because every set needs a coffee maker, the little four drip that I have is 600 watts. All right, it makes four cups of coffee, 600 watts. That is a 600 watt light. Instead, it's just a little coffee maker. If I plug that in and turn it on, I've just dropped from 20, you subtract the six, now I'm down to 14 amps to play with on that circuit. Bear that stuff in mind, avoid blowing fuses, Avoid uh, causing trouble for other people and you should be okay. When it comes to electricity, do your homework. I'm not an electrician. I'm not giving you electrical advice, but these are some basic rules to follow to keep yourself safe and to keep your set uh, with the lights on. We'll see you later.